chasing heights to stay alive But if I'm with you, I'll survive So hold me close into the night Cause I need you to stay Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are ready for a ton of cleaning motivation. We have the usual everyday mom life cleaning motivation, but we are also going to tackle some things that we don't usually do. And I'm gonna share some of my favorite cleaning hacks and easy cleaning tips with you guys. It's stuff that you have lying around your home more than likely, and we are gonna use that today to get to cleaning. We have a bunch of stuff to take care of today. We are going to tackle the downstairs area and get it all straightened up, get it cleaned up, and I cannot wait to share some of my favorite hacks with you guys too. I hope that you had a really good New Year's Eve, and I hope that you are having a good New Year so far. We are going to try to stick to a schedule around here, or at least a better one than we were working with over the holiday season season so I hope that you enjoy upcoming videos and cleaning motivation and I would love for you to stick around and subscribe if you are new here on my channel for cleaning motivation every single week So we're starting a little backwards today. Obviously we're starting in the kitchen and dining area like I usually do when I clean downstairs, but we're starting in the dining space and cleaning up this space first. Usually I like to tackle the dishes first, but I wanted to change it up for you guys today. So we are going to start over here and then we will work our way around the kitchen and get it all nice and cleaned up. There's a ton of stuff that needs to be picked up, just random stuff sitting on the counter. So we'll take care of that. Tons of dishes to do and then we'll get to those cleaning hacks that I was telling you guys about. So someone gave my three-year-old a ton of stickers for Christmas. So they've been stuck everywhere. In the last couple of videos, I've been trying to remove them off cabinets and stuff, but luckily the ones here stuck to the fridge were not super hard to remove, thank goodness, but you guys had some really great tips for removing stickers, lots of goo gone, citrus essential oils, even using a blow dryer to heat up the sticker to try to make the glue or whatever they use adhesive on there come off easier so I just wanted to share those with you guys I didn't have to use those today I'm just was able to pick them off with my nail and then I used some thieves cleaner to wipe everything down after but just wanted to share those in case you've got a little one sticking stickers all over the place like I do Time for the dishes. We are going to get these taken care of. There are so many dishes in the sink that need to be done. A lot of big bulky stuff. So we're going to load up the dishwasher, then we will wash stuff by hand. And I just wanted to take a minute and check in on you guys. How are you guys doing? How are your holidays? 
I hope that you guys had a really great holiday season, Christmas, whatever holidays that you celebrate. I hope that they were wonderful and spent with family and super enjoyable. Um, we had, it was a little chaotic to be honest with you. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that my mom had moved here a year ago and then they just had to move again. So they came back to visit. So it was really nice to see them and get to celebrate Christmas with them like we had originally planned before they had to move. So it was nice getting all of that. I did not expect to be able to spend Christmas with them. So it was super amazing. The kids had a great time and it was just filled with family, which was amazing, especially after the past couple of years that have just been so funky. Cleaning hacks incoming. We are going to use some cleaning hacks for the stove today. I have probably shared some of this before, but if not, I am sharing it today. We're gonna clean up this disgusting, messy, crummy stove. So the first thing we're going to do is going to vacuum the stove. I know it sounds kind of weird, People are like, why are you using your vacuum where you cook? But we're gonna clean it up. We're gonna use some Windex, we're gonna use some Dawn Power Wash, and we're gonna spray the Windex on the stove after we vacuumed up all the crumbs. Let that sit for a bit, wipe it down. Windex on the stove works super, super well. Trust me, trust me. I shared this in a reel on Instagram, so if you have Instagram, come in and follow me over there as well. I'm going to start sharing more cleaning tips and hacks and stuff on my Instagram, but I do a lot of like mom life kind of stuff over there. It's a little bit different than stuff over here. So you kind of get the best of both worlds between the platforms, I guess. So if you have Instagram, I would love to invite you over to my Instagram as well to hang out with me over there too. So the Windex works really well at cleaning up the residue and everything on the stove top and makes it super nice and shiny and I'm sure it would work really great on a glass cooktop too. And I'm gonna use the Dawn Power Wash to spray my grates for my stove. Gets off all the caked on nastiness, baked on, cooked on, whatever, grease and everything super, super well. I spray it on there and then I will go about my business in the kitchen cleaning up other stuff usually. So we spray it on and then it dissolves or whatever it does gets rid of all the gunk on those grates really nicely. Everything comes off super, super easy. So we love that. We love making life easier, the vacuuming up the crumbs on the stove, the Windex and the power wash, the winning trio. Trust me, if you haven't used the power wash on your stove grates, you need to try it. It will get that grease off real quick and real nice. Don't try. Something that I realized I had not done in way too long is dust the shutters around my house. So we'll have to go back at a later date and really dust everything. But today I just wiped them down a little bit because it was caked with dust. It was nasty. <laughs> it was so bad. I haven't dusted them in quite some time. I honestly can't remember the last time. So let's just be real here. It's been way too long because... That's just a few of those shutter blades that need to be really wiped down. And I'll share a hack with you guys on, let's do the next video. I'll share a nice cleaning hack for getting those super clean with you guys in the next video. Today we didn't have time. First day back to school after winter break. So trying to cram in as much cleaning and everything before having to go get my son. And it just didn't happen. Every high, every night with you, you and me so clueless.
the kitchen is cleaned up for the most part. I mean, life with kids is never just gonna stay clean. But we are going to vacuum everything up right now, get all the crumbs off the floor in here before moving on to the living room. I've been trying to make a habit out of cleaning one room at a time because I'm usually one of those people that kind of just like pops around the house, jumps around the house and starts like a million different projects and never finishes stuff. So we're gonna clean up this space completely before moving on to the next space. Let's move on to the living room area. Uh, there's just a bunch of random stuff all over the place. We're still in that weird in-between phase between taking Christmas decor down and actually getting the house back together. I still have my Christmas tree upstairs that we'll take care of in the next video, but everything downstairs is pretty much done. So we're just going to straighten up the living room, get stuff put away and taken off the couch that no longer belongs on there. I fold laundry on the couch, so sometimes it gets stuck there for a little too long. But we're gonna take the care of that today, get the couch back to being straightened up. I like to put blankets on my couch to kind of like save it from the dogs and the kids. Doesn't look the cutest, but we're gonna put those back on because they're nice and fresh and clean and just get this living room back to how I usually have it. We're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of breakers down I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega Like the waves pull you down underwater We're fun until we hit the bottom But I'm 
trying to hold on I don't want it to stop Even though we fight sometimes And it feels like a war zone I still care about us How do you move on When everything goes wrong I'm trying to find a way To get you out of my head Don't know how to cope with being so after we get the living room all taken care of, we need to clean up the laundry room area and the front entryway and all that stuff because, excuse me, I just yawned. It is a mess and it needs to be taken care of. So we'll do that in just a couple minutes here. You'll always be on my mind, even in the hard times. I care about you. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I just want to love you. This space really just needs to be picked up desperately. So we are going to do that right now. Straighten up this front entryway area because that's not what anybody wants to see when they walk in the door. It's just a bunch of mess and a bunch of stuff all over the place. So we're going to pick it up. We're going to throw some laundry in the washing machine. And we are going to clean up the laundry room area as well because there's trash, there's fuzz, lint. Anything you can think of is probably on the floor in there. So we're going to take care of all that get all the stuff off the washer and the dryer which are kind of my catch-all which annoys my husband to no end but we're going to take care of that today and clean it up and straighten it up So now that things have been cleaned up and vacuumed up in here, we are going to wipe everything down. And I'm just going to be using some Thieves Cleaner. It doesn't need to be sanitized or anything. So we're just going to wipe it all down, get it all cleaned up, and get it all straightened up. Again, the washing machine and dryer have fingerprints all over them, so they need to be cleaned up. There's dog hair. Like, it's... It just needs to be wiped down and clean. Doesn't need to be crazy deep clean, maybe at a later date, but that's not happening in this video. So we're just gonna wipe it all down and get it all back in working order. The laundry room has been tidied, so we are going to take care of our half bathroom that is also downstairs by the laundry room because it needs to be cleaned probably every day. It really should probably be cleaned every day. I mean, with two little kids using the potty, it gets nasty. It gets nasty. Y'all with little kids, you know what I mean. Potty training kids or kids that are recently potty trained, you know the deal. 
I don't even need to go into full details. So we're going to clean up this area. These toilet seats are super awesome because they have a built-in child seat to them and you can also easily remove them to really get in there and clean, which I love and I do pretty much every single time I clean the toilet take the toilet seat off and really get in those nooks and crannies good with some disinfectant wipes even could get in there with some bleach and a scrub brush every so often and that would just be like all amazing chef's kiss like great 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 i can't believe i just said chef's kiss when talking about a toilet but we're gonna roll with it and we're it, it's fine it's fine so i'm using clorox cleaning bleach gel to clean the toilet bowl and just some disinfectant wipes to wipe everything down I hope that you have enjoyed today's video and I hope that it has given you motivation or even if you're just kicking back and relaxing and watching this video, I hope that you truly enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Say hi in the comments if you haven't yet, especially if you are new here, come and introduce yourself. Love chatting with you guys. So I love getting to know you as well. Drop a comment down below. Could just be hi, could be an emoji, whatever you want it to be. Let me know you're here. Let me know where you're watching from. Thank you guys so much for being here and choosing to spend time out of your day watching this video and hanging out with me. I truly appreciate all of you and your time spent with me. I wish I could explain to you how much it means to me to have you all here watching these videos that I put out for you guys and enjoying them. I hope that you have a super amazing day. I hope that this new year treats you so, so well and brings you everything you hope for and more. Don't forget to stick around and subscribe if this is your first time here on my channel and I will catch you all in the next video. There will be another video this week, so be on the lookout for that. It will be up on Friday or Saturday, so be on the lookout. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day.